Hey guys, I thought I'd uh, make a video of uh, what it's like to try and plant some crepe myrtles and some clay soil. Here in Georgia, that's about all I got in my lawn is some uh, hard red clay soil. And so I started this project about a week ago, starting to prep the holes. These are um, 15 gallons, 15 gallon crepe myrtles. So they're, you know, a good 20 inches by 15 inches probably. They're huge pots. And so I really didn't know, you know, really what I was getting into, <laughs> to be honest, when I started the project. And so throughout my yard, I've got hard clay, compact clay, silt and rock. It's been just a real pleasure to dig these holes out. And then when I got the holes dug out, I got home with the plants and realized they weren't even big enough then. So, you know, I think the, the first process is getting the grass, your sod off. And I just used, I tried to get a, a spade, a spade shovel and it just wasn't even um, able to go through the sod. The roots are too strong. And so I ended up going just back to my hardy Hardy regular shovel. Um, if you're gonna buy a shovel, don't get wood, get a fiberglass or other because they have lifetime guarantees and you know over the life of the tool, spending the extra ten dollars from the initial purchase will save you money in the long run. Anyway, so I use this, you know, your standard blade shovel with the pointy tip because the flat tip spade sod, sod spade, couldn't even cut through the grass and it was more trouble than it was worth. Anyway, I'm in the process now of amending my soil, and so I thought I'd give you a quick quick example of what it looks like and what the process is. And so I got a couple of different products. I'm not really knowing what I was gonna be getting into. Um, I got some regular old topsoil from Lowe's, and then I got some soil conditioner, Lowe's, and then I got your compost and manure blend, also Lowe's. This is the cheapest stuff they had, and so far I haven't opened up a single bag of topsoil. It's all been um, soil conditioner and the compost and manure. And this is one cubic feet, whereas the soil conditioner is two cubic feet. So for these holes, these holes are ended up being, you know, they're not just deep and round. There's more as they're shallow, like a saucer or a bowl, which will help them drain. Otherwise, in the clay soil, as you know, the water will just pool at the bottom and you'll get root rotten and it'll kill your plants. So I'm trying to make it more like a bowl and level it out like, or like a saucer. And so I've left about a quarter to a third of the good um, clay, if there was any. And when I refer to good clay, I'm talking about, you know, clay that you can, that you can crumble up and that, that's fine, more of a fine powder that you like clay. That kind of soil, I'm definitely wanting to keep and mix it in and mend it. And so I'm amending, you know, about a third of the clay or a quarter of the clay from the hole the good stuff with one bag of soil conditioner and the rest of its compost and so far it's been you know three bags of compost one bag of soil conditioner and a third of clay for these you know these holes are about four feet across and then this other crap um, this is more like silt than it is clay and um, it's hard I can't even can't even crumble it lots of rocks mixed into it and so this is the garbage there's no point in me keeping it so I'm just dumping that. Um, I'm not gonna even try to amend it. It's you know, a $2 bag of soil conditioner or a $2 bag of topsoil. Would so much better serve a hole than trying to amend this garbage. So that's just gonna be uh, waste soil that I'll dump. And then I'll give you a, a, quick, a quick view of the, of the holes that are kind of in the stage progress or beginning stage progress. Another caveat to all of it is uh, make sure you call your utility company find out what's buried. I had the pleasure of cutting my fiber optic because it was not where they said it was. And so this is the gas line that came out. And uh, after I'd cut my fiber optic, um, which was great. Anyway, this is what, this is what a, this is one of my smaller holes or I guess regular size hole. And that there on the deep end, cause it's a sloping yard, sloping down on the high side, it's probably you know two feet and on the low side it's about 15 inches and so i'll be trying to level it out but you can see like i said some of this is some of this is good soil and can easily be amended broken up into a finer a finer um, powder where some of it's going to be more rocks and and i'll have to figure out what's what and kind of take the big chunks out and it's it's not as hard as it seems well i take that back it is exactly as hard as it seems this has been hard labor work i'm too old for this crap to be honest um, but you know, some good hard labor never really hurt anybody too much anyway. 
but uh, here's where I've got you know the hole separated on both sides there's a cable line that didn't get cut the fiber optic was next to that new fiber optics over there so they'll come back and have to lay that so again call your utility company kind of didn't have the time to do it and I figured uh, the utilities were supposed to be running along the berm from the utility line and the utility box out there going straight down the berm and they crossed over somewhere right through the yard here so um, good tip before you dig find out what's underneath the ground so you don't you know sever something that's important or electrocute yourself or cut into a gas line or something like that anyway out of the soil you can see again some of it's gonna be good like right here that's a good that's some good soil there that can easily be amended with some soil conditioner and some peat moss and compo compost and um, I'm not sure I'll even use all of this soil I'll probably use you know about a quarter to a third of it here because um, I'm gonna widen this hole a little bit bigger um, to accommodate those large those large 15 gallon um, crepe myrtles that'll be going in there and then I'll you know like I said amend it but I thought I'd put this out there in case you're digging through your clay soil and or you have clay soil um, and you don't have to really be afraid of the clay soil the, you know some of it's good it's rich in iron it's rich in nutrients if it's dark red that's the good stuff if it tends to be black that tends to show that it's you know that it's not really draining well so your good red clay soil um, it's definitely something that you know you can plant in you just kind of have to amend it and so we'll end up doing four crepe myrtles into those four holes and then um got a couple other I've got a couple other plants and I haven't really figured out where they're gonna go yet but it'll be the same process of just digging out the sod first cutting the sod you know just make little squares going back and forth across the top the sod's gonna be you know good healthy sod it'll be four or five inches deep in roots and as you make smaller squares you can just pop them up you know one shovel at a time and uh, a wheelbarrow is your friend I wouldn't recommend trying to do any of this you know larger scale stuff without a wheelbarrow it's just that's a young man's game or a foolish man's game um, to try and do it all with buckets and stuff like that so a good wheelbarrow to get the stuff you don't need the top soil or the top sod and then the you know silt and other clay that's just not going to be amendable somewhere else for you to dump or wherever it is if you're going to repurpose it and anyway, I thought I'd make a quick video because many of us are struggling with the clay soil versus having good healthy soil to plant in and you know this is the process to get it going um, and then if you're gonna plant something you know after you get it planted make sure you water it thoroughly um, especially whether it be if you're doing it in the summer you're gonna be watering it all the time to make sure it doesn't you know get dried out um, you know while it's while it's trying to establish itself but uh, you know we're planting here in the fall now or in the spring you're gonna give it especially in the fall it gives the roots a good chance to get healthy and establish themselves um, and so i'll probably be watering once a week as they you know establish themselves into the next spring and into the summer but um, that's pretty much what's going on and i thought i'd post this out there for any of you who's are uh, interested in you know planting in your uh, in your hard clay soil but um, it's easily done you know, easy might be wrong adjective but it can be done and um, you can have some success and enjoy the uh, beautiful blooms that come with your plants anyway happy gardening to you